There is a, a project in, in the United States called uh, Solar Roadways, which consists of uh, concrete slabs, uh, including uh, the solar cells plus uh, tempered glass on top of it. There's a quite similar project in the Netherlands uh, called the Solar Road. A section on a, on a cycle path was built about one year ago, but it's um, large concrete slabs, uh, which means that in fact you're completely rebuilding a road. Our technology is different in that way that, uh, in fact, we just place our solar panels on an existing pavement. It does not require uh, all that amount of preliminary uh, works. The first idea was generated about 10 years ago and it came from the feeling that, in fact, the road looks at the sky for more than 90% of the time. So during this 90% of time, it, uh, it can collect energy from the sun we had a very good opportunity to work together with the, the people at the National Institute of Solar Energy. Their knowledge is, is photovoltaic technology, our knowledge is how to build roads, and we work together to find the, the solutions to the several problems we had to face to be able to integrate this technology on top of an existing pavement. We had pages and pages of questions what will be the, the grip on such a surface, which type of material should, should we use, uh, which uh, ratio between the, the active uh, solar surface and the uh, road surface, uh, how could we maintain it, how could we recycle, and so on. We tested several uh, mixes of uh, resins, of glass birds, of uh, broken glass and so on to, uh, until we found uh, a good compromise between the grip level and uh, the light absorption. These solar panels will produce electrical energy and uh, the use will be quite similar to the one you could have with traditional uh, PV panels placed on, on rooftops. Uh, you can either uh, connect them to the global electricity network and in that case you're re-injecting uh, electricity into the, the network or in case uh, of uh, more isolated uh, locations you can simply store the electricity in, in batteries and then use it for example public lightning or you could even also imagine in a longer term, but you could also supply uh, electricity to uh, electrical vehicles, for example, either through uh, traditional plugs or even through wireless technologies such as uh, induction. The concept of Solar Road tried to face uh, two uh, major problems of uh, development of solar energy. The first problem is the lack of surface to produce enough energy. And the second problem is the problem of cost of the systems. And when you use a solar road, of course, you take advantage of a large surface of the existing road. So most of the work has been done and you just have to integrate your component on a road. I can see two problems with uh, solar road. The first one comes from the heating of the solar panels because when the temperature of the panels increases, the efficiency uh, decreases and the aging process are accelerated. And the second one is that for the prediction of the solar energy production, you will have to integrate the traffic road modeling to be able to predict uh, accurately the electricity production. Another interesting parameter to look at is the energy payback time, which is the time necessary to produce the same energy that has been used to produce the panels. So it's a real challenge for engineers.